This is the top five meta loadouts in Warzone and Rebirth Island. All these weapons can be used in ranked play and they're very easy to use with basically no recoil. So we're going to start out with the legendary static HV and then we're going to move on to the DTIR short and long range meta. Throw in the quartermaster suppressor. This keeps you off the minimap and helps with gun kick control and recoil control. You do lose some aim down sight speed, which is not really a big deal because of the other attachments we're going to put on there. But the increase of recoil control is so significant with a 10% increase of recoil gun kick, 23% for horizontal recoil and 10% for vertical. The only alternative I would recommend recommend if you don't have this leveled up is the Zemin 35 compensated flash hider this has similar recoil benefits but you do lose some bullet velocity it's not the overall pick this is still the overall pick and there's no better alternative than these two next on the auger 840 light barrel for aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed movement speed and hip fire attack stance spread now the recoil control and gun kick go down a little bit but we already took care of that with the previous attachment the mobility and handling increase are so significant movement speed goes up four percent tactical sprint speed along with sprint speed five and four percent which is very nice and then we also have other benefits that we're going to see later on with mobility and handling accuracy goes up a little bit as well if you're trying to hit fire this weapon it's overall extremely nice next we're putting on the jack slash for movement speed sprint speed and vertical recoil at the cost of hip fire spread and tax stance spread this is very very nice in my opinion now i do see people asking what about the paracord grip i do like the paracord grip too i think they're both actually great attachments whichever one you want is completely up to you and i won't be mad either way this is more so for tactical sprint speed and sprint speed in general whereas with the paracord grip it's ads movement speed and sprint to fire speed horizontal recoil goes 15 percent, and then the vertical recoil eight percent you have to really weigh your options which one is the better choice for you are you a movement person stability person whatever you want completely up to you next we're putting on the jack glasses optic i absolutely love this i've been a huge fan of the nighter model 2023 for the longest i still am a fan because there's no negatives to it but if you do want to try the jack glasses optic i can be completely transparent when i say there is zero recoil with the jack glasses optic you do lose a tiny bit of ads speed but i think it's worth it for the smoothness of this attachment then we're putting on the spry 34 light stock for aim walking speed sprint speed movement speed and aim down sight speed the cost of aiming out of sway firing aim stability and gun kick control the mobility and handling increase are so significant and you only lose a little bit of recoil gun kick which you're not going to notice this smg is obviously the number one meta in the game right now it's so powerful and even at long range it does significant damage like you guys see if you guys control the recoil it's just absolutely devastating so here is the entire build right here for the static hb take a picture screenshot whatever you guys have to do this thing is absolutely deadly next is the dtir 3006 this thing is insane for long range and i would say it's number one but there is another weapon i want to show you that's right next to it so throwing the quartermaster suppressor for being undetectable by the radar gun kick control and recoil control you lose some aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed not really a big deal it's interesting that you actually gets 11 percent recoil gun kick versus 10 percent for everything else like the smgs and so on and so forth but the horizontal recoil is 23 percent vertical recoil is 10 percent it's actually pretty nice choice i don't think there's really anything better and like i said if you don't have it you can put on the zemin until you do get it but on the extend 10 long barrel for bullet velocity and range damage range and movement speed there's nothing better than this you get a 20 percent increase of range and you get an increase in mobility if you want to use the sanctum 60 long barrel for more recoil control you can but it's literally the same as the extend 10 long barrel you're not going to see much of a difference unless you controlling recoil is really that bad and if it is that bad okay use the sanctum 60 long barrel but if you can control it then this is their choice but on the Koyo Eagle's Eye 2.5 times trust me there's some sort of feeling with the Koyo Eagle's Eye versus the Jack Glasses Optic you get better hit scan with the Koyo Eagle's Eye than this so if you don't believe me try it out for yourself you'll see what I'm talking about Rifleman 200 stock for recoal control aiming out of sway and gun kick control at the cost of aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed and movement speed this is an amazing choice I really don't think there's a better option when you look through everything else this is 17% across the board for recoal control and you lose a little bit of mobility and handling which is already taken care of in a previous attachment finally 40 round mag for as many bullets as possible and like i said this thing really doesn't move it's kind of devastating how powerful it is at every single range like even at super long range see how fast it takes people out this is honestly the best long range choice technically the meta choice but i do want to show you guys an alternative if you're not much of a fan of a slower firing weapon like the dtir the stg 44 is back and it is so powerful throwing the quartermaster suppressor to keep you off the minimap gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed this thing is so amazing for some reason you don't get the 11 percent increase like it did on the dtir but you're not going to notice it because it's not necessary 10 percent for recoil gun kick 23 percent for horizontal and 10 percent for vertical same negatives as the handling next one the heimrichter c70 long barrel for bullet velocity and range and aiming out way at the cost of hip fire accuracy hip recoil control and gun kick control things that don't really matter because you get a 28 percent 
range increase for effective and minimum damage range and 21% for bullet velocity. Put on the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times. Unless you prefer the Jack Glasses, I think that you get better hit scan with the Corio Eagle's Eye, but both are completely fine. The R79 combo stock for gun kick control, recoil control, and firing aim stability at the cost of sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, and hip fire spread. 21% for recoil gun kick and 11% for horizontal and vertical recoil. I mean, what else can you say? This is the best choice. There's nothing even close to it. Like maybe the igneous l5 stop stock if you don't have the dr79 but if you do there's no reason to actually run this finally 50 round drum for as many bullets as possible this thing is just incredibly broken it actually feels really good i'm surprised that people aren't using it as much anymore but it's an extremely fast firing ar that if you actually hit chest shots and up it's absolutely lethal and really gets the job done very easily so here's the entire class set up right here. Take a picture, screenshot, whatever you guys have to do. The striker is incredible and it is the best SMG overall. And by overall, I mean short, medium, and long range. This thing dominates. Throw on the quartermaster suppressor to keep you off the minimap. Gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. 10% increase, 23% increase, and 10% increase once again. Striker recon long barrel for bullet velocity and range and aiming out of sway at the cost of hip fire and attack stance spread, sprint to fire speed, and aim walking speed. You get an 18% increase of effective and minimum damage range and 15% for bullet velocity there's nothing really beating that I mean you have the striker elite long barrel I don't think it's worth it because it already has good recoil control so you don't need more recoil control on top of the already elite recoil control that's like a laser this is the best choice believe me xrk edge bw for hand stop for aim walking speed movement speed aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed at the cost of aim walking staying this hip fire attack stance spread the mobility and handling increase is so significant with 6% movement increase, crouch is 11, ADS movement speed 13, ADS speed 6, and sprint to fire speed 5 is so powerful. People have been asking me, why not the paracord grip? Because you don't get as much of the benefits. Why not the jack slash? Because you don't get as much of the benefits. This is the best choice. 48 round mag for as many bullets as possible without penalty. Now, there is a little bit of penalty, but if you look at the 60 round drum, it's basically twice the 48 for 12 more bullets. I don't think that that's worth it. Lockman Recon Series stock for gun kick control, aiming out sway, and recoil control at the cost of hip fire and attack stance spread, sprint to fire speed, aim walk speed, and movement speed. 25% increase on recoil gun kick control, 5% for horizontal and vertical. This is incredible. Like this thing literally does not move. And I, I can't even joke when I say this. I'm barely holding down my thumbstick and it's just ridiculous. I have to show you guys one more time. Just to show you guys this is not like a one-off type thing. It literally does not move. It's the absolute perfect SMG for every situation. If you need it for sniper support or whatever you need, it's there. It's just the perfect SMG. Finally, for those that want to piss off their enemy or piss off stackers that, you know, run in groups of four, trying to take you down, shoot your body, this is the weapon for you. Claimer 18 is so powerful, and honestly, I would say it's one of the best close range guns in the game, if not the best close range gun in the game. Throw on the Bryson Improved Choke or the Bryson Choke, completely up to you. Now, with the Bryson Improved Choke, the damage is 23% uh, for shotgun spread, uh, effective and minimum 2 and 3%. Now, if you use the Bryson Choke, it's 38%. Discourage your 900 heavy barrel for two ammo capacity, bullet velocity and range, recoil control, and gun kick control. This is insane. 15% for effective, 14% for minimum. 7% for bullet velocity. The recoil control really doesn't matter that much, but this is just too good of an attachment to ignore. There's really just not a better choice. So you want to have this on there. X10 TX12 hand stop attack stand spread, aim down sight speed and spread to fire speed, the cost of hip fire spread, which we already took care of. The attack stand spread 15%, ADS speed 5, sprint to fire speed 7%. It's just a very good attachment that I don't think there's really anything better. Make sure you're putting on the haste 15 grip tape for attack stand spread and sprint to fire speed, the cost of flinch resistance, which we don't really care about. Because because we're going to have this in tax stance mixed, uh, chat tax stance mode anyway. Uh, 19% for attack stance spread and 12% for sprint to fire speed. It's just so significant and better than everything else. Finally, we're putting on the no stock for crouch movement speed, sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, aim walking speed. Look at the, mobil the mobility and handling increase. I mean, it goes without saying that there's nothing else that I would rather have on there than this. There's so many benefits, even for accuracy. And when you are using this weapon, there's one thing you have to keep in mind. You need to have this in tax stance mode.